incarcerated youth are oftentimes excluded from the story of all things, right? So like even just talking about what it's like to be an incarcerated youth and adding those stories to the pot uh, is a part of the diversity conversation as well. Because they're, they're young people who, we get to walk around and live our everyday lives, no matter how bad you've got it or how good you've got it, you never even have to think about the young people who are locked away in prison uh, at 14, 15, 16, some of whom are serving life sentences, right? 30 year bids at 15 years old. They never have to be thought about. Um, so even just adding them into the conversation, uh, which is something that is really, really, really important to me. Uh, I have spent quite a bit of time in, in uh, juvenile detention centers, and, uh, and even there you see the same thing, right? They're dying and they're desperate and they're thirsty for diverse literature, for literature that looks like them, for literature that they can connect to, for someone to tell their stories, um, for them to read their stories, for them to hear their stories, for them to know that they're not alone. And I think that's, that's a precious, precious thing that we have to take a look at, uh, starting right now.